Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today as part of the DevOps interview questions uh, and the answer series basically day two, we will see some of the DevOps general questions which is uh, just don't go by the general but it's very important uh, in DevOps interview questions basically okay what is the DevOps basically and how the end-to-end uh, -end pipeline works what stages involved in that okay and some of the other questions like why uh, IT industry implementing DevOps as a model okay so let's see uh, one by one okay so as I said earlier in the day one session so I don't want to incre increase the video length by one hour or something so I try to make a uh, five questions in per session okay so today we will also cover the five questions okay so let's see the question number one okay so basically we normally see when we were <coughs> hear the word like what devops so so today we will understand what is the devops or how you can answer this uh, questions in the actual interview okay so i am trying to explain with the my way okay if you have any other thought process or <clears throat> what i can say what i can say if you have any other theoretical definitions or uh, your own practical uh, definitions okay you can definitely go with that as well so just for the i'm trying to explain with the my way okay so to answer this question basically what is the devops it's a <clears throat> as i said uh, devops is nothing uh, it's a like a single tool or something okay it's a devops is a word basically which is combination of the uh, de development and operations basically okay devops so it's a combination of the development and operations team basically okay then uh, devops as i said devops is not a technology or any single tools basically so <clears throat> what is the actual devops let's see so devops is basically is a methodology or a culture where it industry follows to automate the and the uh, streamline the software development and the operation process basically okay so uh, in if you look at the uh, traditional approach and now today's uh, generation basically so most of the organization uh, adopting this uh, methodology as a devops okay so basically devops is not a single tool or technology just uh, uh, avoid that uh, that concept basically okay devops is basically it's a methodology or culture where it industry is following basically to automate and streamline the uh, development process and operation process okay I hope it's clear with the DevOps basically. What is the DevOps? So now, uh, IT industry follows DevOps to improve the efficiency, reduce human or manual errors basically, okay, and also reduce to extra efforts, enhance overall software build quality basically, okay, to use uh, this kind of for the benefits company are using DevOps as a model, okay, in their uh, project, okay. So the last one is like uh, by using devops as a culture in it industry it's take benefits basically to automate the infrastructure provision release management code management and other stuffs okay so these are the uh, auto like uh, automation testing or something okay so these are the areas where it industry follow to adopt the devops okay and the def definition of the devops basically okay so next question what is the end-to-end -end deployment process basically <clears throat> this question also very important if you are going for the devops uh, interview basically this is these are the very important questions they might definitely ask you okay so to explain the ci cd pipeline or the end-to-end -end deployment process basically i try to cover with the some of the stages basically C ci is as a continuous integration and cd for the cont continuous deployment okay so as a first step for the uh, cont ci cd pipeline okay obviously we will have a source code basically our source code management which will be stored on the git uh, github gitlab or bitbucket or something okay so where once we make a code changes and we push our code changes to the particular repository or branch okay so then our pipeline will trigger basically uh, our pipeline will trigger on that situation okay after the code changes okay then it will build the packages basically if you have a maven based project or a docker build project over there okay for the front end or if you have other node.js based module basically so um, in the build process there it might be you know in the during the build process it, it will build the package basically for your applications okay so if you have a node.js then it will bundle the packages or maven based java based like that okay so <clears throat> during the build process it will build the packages for the applications then for the next step 
con testing part okay so it will uh, like we will use uh, for the automation testing like sonar cube for the code quality checks or other uh, automated uh, testing like you know unit testing integration testing for the uh, the tools like selenium or something okay <clears throat> j j unit j meter something okay so uh, after the testing successfully completed then it will go to the uh, cd part continuous deployment then obviously we will not uh, promote the, all the changes to directly to the uh, test or uh, production actual live environment okay <clears throat> first we will deploy and test our changes on the dev environment okay once the dev environment successfully deployed and verified by the qa team then we will promote the changes to qa uh, qa environment which we normally say sometimes uat uh, environment or pre prod or test environment okay so which is similar to <coughs> production one okay so once on the qa environment like pre prod or you can say test environment so once uh, deployment <coughs> successfully completed and verified by the qa then we will promote to production which is actual live environment basically okay obviously we will follow the all the release processes whatever are there we will uh, discuss in this separate session on the production release management basically there are lots of steps we need to involve okay but now for now just to understand the end to end deployment process we need to follow these steps basically <clears throat> once we do the code changes here <clears throat> then code uh, it will build the packages here then it will promote to test environment after checking the code quality and the other stuffs basically testing then it will we will promote to dev environment and after the verification and the deployment properly then we will promote to qa and then production environment okay so these are the end to end pipeline process basically so on the top of that you can add your own answers uh, if you have uh, other you know a uh, thought process over there okay so now the third question is which tools are covered in the devops okay so as i said devops is not a single tool basically it's a methodology or a culture basically which it industry follow to maintain the software development and operation process okay to streamline basically so as a tool wise basically <clears throat> for the code wise for the code management we use obviously these are the tools okay github some organizational project might use github okay some might use gitlab there or some might be bit bucket it's a depend on project to project it's not a generic gen basically but most of the cases company use this okay github for the repository hosting and the man other managements okay then as part of the testing of definitely there are two type of uh, way like you know testing manual and automation testing so for the testings there are multiple tools available in the market but for just highlight i have just mentioned two three here sorry <clears throat> as i explained in the earlier deployment process uh, i just mentioned three tools name here j unit sonar cube and selenium basically for the testing then for the releases obviously uh, releases like the deployment deployment tools we use we can use jenkins github actions gitlab ci cd go cd or other tools available in the market okay and the where we can deploy this in uh, applications basically we can use docker container ecs fargate service kubernetes okay eks or if you are if you have a azure cloud then obviously eks okay then we might have a vms over there on premises and open shifts okay these are the part of the infrastructure where we can deploy the our applications okay and the monitoring part which is very important after the deployment basically to monitor the performance and the metrics utilization basically so we can use grafana elk which is elastic log stash kibana basically then grafana prometheus nagios or cloudwatch these are the main tools basically but uh, company use depend on their architecture and the standard basically some might use grafana elk or prometheus or obviously cloud is cloudwatch is a part of the aws so we can also use this and nagios also is there in the market okay depend on the project to project company decide to use which monitoring tools suitable for them okay so now the question 4 why organizations are implementing devops okay as i said earlier because now the world are moving very faster process <clears throat> in terms of market demand and the supply and all the other uh, streamlined process basically so obviously as a first part 
for continuous integration and continuous deployments obviously okay so company does not doesn't want to follow the traditional approach here for the deployment okay then it uh, it it saves lots of time and efforts basically okay then to reduce the human efforts or manual errors we can say then uh, <clears throat> to achieve the market demand for the faster delivery obviously okay then scalable and flexibility for the uh, infrastructure basically we can scale up or down or flexible to increase or downsize the uh, infrastructure then <clears throat> obviously cost efficiency are there then <clears throat> the major one is customer satisfaction okay so if a traditional approach there might uh, takes uh, too much time to deploy the inf and provision the infrastructure but in uh, <clears throat> devops models you can see you can <clears throat> you know provision the infrastructure with the automation process with a minimum timeline right so last question we will understand let's see what is the meaning of the day of test and production environment okay so as a <clears throat> as i said in the deployment process we will first deploy uh, on the dev environment we will verify and once we satisf satisfied with the deployment and code changes then only we will promote to higher environment like test and production environment okay so let's understand what is the dev test and production environment basically okay dev dev environment is basically on the dev environment developers can deploy their number of changes feature changes or minor or major changes basically on the dev uh, dev environment they can test and if they find any uh, <coughs> issues are there after the development deployment then they will debug that and again their they will deploy with their code changes basically okay before promoting to test or production environments okay so for the dev environment there is a uh, no major restriction or downtime required for the any uh, deployment basically so in short there is no dependency to have a downtime or any restriction for the approvals for the deployment basically and we don't need to follow any release process so you can just simply <coughs> do your code changes and promote to dev environment so you can just test it before promoting to other environment okay for the test environment basically basically it's a similar to production environment okay sometimes we called as a qa or uat uh, environment basically okay this this should be the similar to production environment because we need to uh, qa or tester team perform the testing on this environment basically so it should be always similar to production environment for the better release process okay so we can uh, conduct various type of testing here like integration testing performance functional changes or other you know uat acceptance testing there are multiple type of uh, testings are there we can just for qa team can perform okay on the test environment for the production one it's actual live environment basically so we need to follow proper release process here with the rollback strategy okay if something goes wrong with the deployment or after the deployments some function might not work due to some code mismatch or any other package version mismatching okay or any environment variables <clears throat> there might be different different cases so in that situation we need to ready with the our rollback strategy basically if the deployment goes wrong then immediately just roll back to the previous stable version okay and this should be very highly secure and stable and optimized for best better performance environment okay so this is not similar to dev environment basically so we need to very careful for the any production release process okay to avoid any major downtime or any circumstances circumstances okay so that's all for the today's session so in the next session we will see as a devops interview questions and answers day 3 so in that uh, series session we will cover about the aws okay devops as a aws so i will try to cover the major questions only because the general questions i already cover in the one of my mock interviews i will try to add that uh, mock interview links in the description box okay so for this devops series i will try to add major questions only you know like a three uh, tire uh, tire uh, architecture or vpc level kind of stuff okay yeah that's all for the today's session let's we will meet in the another session thank you